Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about the 15 books that I downloaded in the month of February. Also if you hear dogs moving around, I'm on dog duty right now, there's four of them in here so they might be bumping things and cameras and panting and talking to each other so just ignore them please. Anyway, let's get into these 15 books. Um, I believe half of them, around half of them, are ones that I downloaded off of KU, and the other half are ones that I got for free. So I'm going to talk about the ones I got off of KU first. Uh, the first one that I want to mention is The Wedding Night by Katie Wilde. I believe I downloaded this for the Novellathon in February, um, and I didn't get to it. But I really enjoy Katie Wilde's writing style and all of her novellas, so um, I just, I hope to get to this one soon. I believe this one is a marriage of convenience between Caleb and Audrey. I think they're from um, two rivaling powerful families but they have to get in a marriage of convenience and she's like infamously known as the ice queen so uh, I kind of love those kinds of heroines because like you get to like poke under their shell or get to see past their shell you know and that's all I can tell from the summary is it's a marriage of convenience between like families that don't necessarily get along so I don't know why they need to get married but I love Marriage of Convenience, like, regardless, so. Next, I have Releasing Maldek by Victoria Abilene. This is a novella that came out in February, a part of the Clicanian series. And I really love this alien romance series, so, like, someone told me about it, I think, on a live, <laughs> and I was like, what? And I immediately downloaded it. I have no clue what it's about, but I love this series. So, Maldek in here ends up finding his mate with Katie. Katie ends up being his mate. And she has like found it her life's mission to go rescue some of the women who have been abducted from Earth. And I think both of them get kidnapped at some point or something. Um, but yeah, I don't want to know too much about this. I just love this author's writing and I love her alien romance world. Next, I have Heartless by Elsie Silver. This is on my March TBR. This is a nanny romance. I read Flawless back in January. So I just have to pick up Heartless. Um, also, people just love this book so much, so I can't wait to read it. This is the romance between Willa and Cade, and I believe Willa becomes Cade's uh, nanny for his six-year-old son, and things go from there. I believe it's also age gap, so yeah, I've heard just amazing things about it. It takes place on a ranch. I love ranches, so I am just like thrilled to read this, and all my friends love it. Next I have Fran Tour by uh, Honey Phillips. This is book number six, a part of her Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers series. Oh my goodness, Finn. Hey, 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 hey. No, no. He's <laughs> messing with the camera. Okay, I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. I, I know. I am hurrying. Oh. Okay, I gotta hurry because he wants to go O-U-T-S-I-D-E, okay? I, I gotta hurry. <laughs> anyway, Fran Tour is the book that I'm currently reading. Um, I really enjoy the series. It's just a fun, short, like, alien romance books. I love them. Filled with kidnapping, but, like, innocent, try to be as innocent as possible kidnapping. Oh, my word, Finn. <laughs> He's, like, bumping into everything. But, like, they don't mean it to be malicious. They, like, think the only way you're, you can get a bride is to kidnap one. And so they end up kidnapping human women, not knowing that it's wrong. <laughs> so Grand Tour in here is the alien throughout the series that we haven't really um, met. Because if you can see by the cover, like he has like cybernetic features to him and he feels like he is scary and ugly to people. He doesn't want to scare any of the human women that have like started to come onto the ranch. So he keeps himself hidden. But I think one of his brother in arms who lives on this ranch with him ends up kidnapping a human woman for him and leaves her in like his like house that he lives in. So far really enjoying this. I'm only on chapter two. So yeah, I plan to read the next book in the series in March. Next is a book that I'm gonna pick up like right after I finish Fran Tour. This is Arjal's Residence by Ruby Dixon. This is book number one, a part of her new series, which is the Ice Planet Clone series. I don't want to know anything about this book. Okay, um, you got like a little hint of it in the epilogue of Floor's Fiasco, which is the last book in the um, Ice Home series. Arjal in this one finally figures out who his mate is. <laughs> and I'm going to be vlogging this book, by the way. I'm going to be vlogging every single new Ruby Dixon release, um, like doing a dedicated reading vlog. So you can expect that in a couple weeks. Okay, maybe next week, hint, hint, okay? <laughs> I'm so thrilled to finally get this book in my hands. I've been waiting forever for it. Um, but I have to let myself finish the book I'm currently reading or I won't go back to it. <laughs> so I'm letting myself do that. So I'm very, very, very excited to read this one. And the last book that I ended up downloading off of KU in February is Fearless by Tia Louise. This is a small town bodyguard romance. So 
I'm wanting to read more bodyguard romances like that appeals to me so much right now so this series just like popped up on my KU so I decided why the heck not let's pick it up so I think this is a hate to love romance um our heroine in here Blake don't worry they're playing that's the way they play <laughs> they're not mad at each other okay um Blake in here is our heroine and um she has to get a bodyguard um and I think her bodyguard is Hutch and they knew each other when they were teens this summer is a little bit whew, <laughs> So I'm gonna let you read on your own, but man, she walks in on him in some inopportune moments, okay? Um, but yeah, it's like a reluctant bodyguard romance. She doesn't want Hutch to be a bodyguard, but she has no other choice because her best friend turns up dead and her uncle goes missing. She has like no other options except Hutch to help keep her safe. So um, I'm looking forward to this. I think it's like a whole bodyguard romance series. So if I like this one, I will be reading all the other ones okay so all the rest of the books are the books that i ended up downloading for free i'll let you know if they are still currently free for you to download first one is sherwood by sierra simone this one is still currently free to download this is i believe a robin hood retelling and it's sierra simone so i only picked it up because it's sierra simone free so i was like yes i really like her writings <laughs> the summer is really short for this one so i think i'm gonna read it it says robin loxley came back to sherwood on a thursday the same thursday that i knelt on a polished concrete floor and kissed the hand stitched toe box of rafe de lacy's shoe i suppose it wouldn't have made a difference if i had known she was back it had been five years after all and she'd been the one to leave sherwood in the first place and i was many things young submissive obsessive but the one thing i'd never been not even as a smitten teenage girl was foolish and i had no interest in chasing heartbreak with humiliation no thief is good enough to steal the same heart twice right next i have a how to fake date your grumpy boss by camilla evergreen the title just immediately click click download <laughs> okay so i think our heroine in here she's trying to get a job at this very large company but i think she ends up like she's clumsy and she ends up falling and accidentally kisses the billionaire CEO of this company. And I think someone takes a picture of it and it kind of like goes viral. And I think they have to fake date, which is so interesting. Oh, this is a uh, closed door slash fade to black, by the way. If you're wanting to pick one of those up, there we go. But it has a swoon worthy love story. So that sounds very interesting to me. I can definitely read like a closed up romance every now and then. Like I'm not, a, I'm not against reading one of those. So the, the title very much intrigued me for this one. Next I have Possessed by Tana Stone. This is an alien sci-fi romance. This book is not free anymore, but you can get it on KU. I also forgot to mention the previous book that I mentioned is also on KU. It's not free anymore. But I heard about this book because someone ordered one of my Etsy listings from me. And they had this book on one of the books they wanted in their YouTube banner. And I was like, what book is this? So I saw it for free and I was like, oh my gosh, I know that cover, but I was drawing with that cover. So I downloaded it. It says that this is a full length sci-fi novel with an H.E.A. No Cheating. It features um, a raider warship, alien horde space battles, and some serious enemies to lovers heat. If you love dominant and dangerous alien warriors, alien abduction to seduction romance, and hot scenes with a happily ever after, you'll love Possessed, the first book in this series. Each book can be read as a standalone. I don't want to know like anything about this. I'm going to go into this book blind, but man, if it was on someone's like favorite list for me to put it on a YouTube banner, like it's gotta be good. Next I have A Counterfeit Heart by Kate Bateman. This is still available to download for free. I love the purple on here, my goodness. Uh, anytime I see a favorite author's book is for free, I immediately download it. Kate Bateman or Casey Bateman is a amazing and amazing um, historical romance author. Sabine, our heroine in here, um, is at the beginning of this book saying goodbye <laughs> to her double life as a notorious criminal over the course of napoleon's uh reign she does like counterfeiting stuff and turns scoundrels into rich men but now she and her business partner must escape france or face the guillotine so her only hope of surviving in england is to strike a deal with the very spy she spent her career out running now after meeting the arrogant operative in the flesh sabine longs to throw herself upon his mercy and into his arms what his name is richard and he's a viscount lovewell and he's prepared to take any risks to safeguard england from the horrors of the french revolution he's even willing to make a pact with his arch enemy philippe lacourt the greatest counterfeiter in europe but when a cheeky beauty proves herself to be lacourt richard is shocked and more than a little aroused <laughs> Unlike the debutantes who often hurl themselves at him, this cunning minx offers a unique and irresistible challenge. Richard will help her, but in return, he wants something that Sabine cannot 
fake. I love Kate Bateman's book, so when I saw it for free, I immediately clicked it. And this one sounds so good, and I think this is the third book in the series, so maybe these like characters pop up in other books, um, so I can know more of their like backstory if I read the other books in the series before this one. Next, I have Reckless Memories by Katherine Cowles, the first book in the Wrecked series. This is still available to download for free. I'm not gonna read a summary for this one. I just saw a free Katherine Cowles. I love Katherine Cowles, so I just had to pick this one up. I don't wanna know anything about it though because her romance books are romantic suspense, and so there's like mystery plot lines to them, so I don't wanna know anything about it because <laughs> I don't wanna spoil myself. Next, I have Southern Charmer by Jessica Peterson. This is a friends to lovers romance. This is still currently available to download for free because I believe this one takes place in South Carolina and this is the romance between our heroine and her perpetually shirtless neighbor Elijah. I believe like Elijah's her neighbor like while they're on vacation though like while she's on vacation they start like having feelings for each other but she like has a life like a thousand miles away and so they're trying to figure out like what's gonna happen. This cover just really intrigued me and um it just looks really cute. I love friends to lovers so I saw like friends to lovers at the top and I was like so immediately. Next I have Lord of Chance by Erica Ridley. I've heard really good things by Erica Ridley. This book is still available to download for free. Um, This one says, disguised as a country miss, Charlotte Devon flees London, desperate to leave her tattered reputation behind. In Scotland, her estranged father's noble blood will finally make her a respectable debut haunt, except she finds herself accidentally wed to a devil may care rogue with a sinful smile. He's the last thing she needs and everything her traitorous heart desires. Charming rake Anthony Fairfax is on holiday to seek his fortune and escape his creditors when an irresistible Lady Luck wins him in a game of chance and a slight mishap that has them leg shackling by dawn. The tables have turned in his favor, but when past demons catch up to them, holding onto a new love will mean destroying their dreams forever. Wow. I've just heard amazing things about this author and I love like the tagline of this it says this is an emotional marriage of inconvenience rags to riches romp <laughs> like i was like okay I'll, I'll i'll click it i'll do it next i have ruined by the highlander by maddie mckenna this is available to download off of kindle unlimited right now it's currently free i don't know if it is by the time this video goes up so just like go check um but i saw highlander and being ruined by one sounds kind of good so <laughs> this is about Beatrice, who after she found her now ex-betrothed with another woman, she swore off men and took work as a healer in the castle. But the Laird proved to be the most beautiful, though irritating, distraction. Laird Andrew needs to focus on his clan and his clan only. But when he overhears the little minx, the healer, complaining about needing to have a betrothed in her brother's wedding, he volunteers. <gasps> Though their betrothal is supposed to be fake, Andrew's desire for Beatrice grows day by day. And someone is very determined to not see Beatrice happy. Give me a Highlander romance all day long. This cover was stunning. I had to get it. And the last book that I'm going to talk about is Trapped, which is an enemies to lovers prison planet book. Um, this is by Allison Ames. This is still available to download for free. So this is a romance between Annabella and a convict. I believe she ends up getting put on this prison planet. It's kind of like Hold by Claire Kent. It gives me those vibes. She has this guy on this uh, prison planet who says, use me for protection. I use you for pleasure. As simple as that. So kind of like Hold by Claire Kent. And so um, I just had to get it because I really like to hold. So that's all to that one. And I believe it's also like enemies to lovers. Oh, we're getting a Finn hug right now. Yes. Yes. I know. I know. I know. He's so sweet. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> he also just knocked over the camera. So I think that's my sign that I'm done. <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, those are all the books that I ended up downloading in the month of February. <laughs> yes. Hi, please let me know if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, or if you have any Kindle Unlimited recommendations for me, I would love to know. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. We will see you in another one. Bye, y'all. <laughs>